All right. Thank you, parents, for being there. <laughs> Thank you for witnessing the, the experiences of your children. All right. So, nandito na ba lahat? O may tao pa sa labas? All right, come here in the po inside, all the people outside. We will have na our ending for today. Huh? Konto, mamaya, I'll call you. All right, ito na lahat. O may tao pa sa labas. Okay, ito na yon. Settle na po tayo, yung mga nasa likod. Upo na po. <clears throat> ah, meron pa sa labas. Oh, praise the Lord for today. All right. Before we go to our commitment service, meron akong igustong ia. Sana may matapang na youth na sasagot nito. Okay? Kasi alam ko walang magtatanong nito, so ako na ang magtatanong. Doon sa balloon activity natin. Alright? During the period pa lang na nakikipag-date ka with the opposite sex, you're starting with holding hands, right? Okay, may question si Tita Weng. Holding hands ba, mawawala na ang virginity ng isang tao? Yes or no? Yes or no? Ha? Huh? Yes or no? Okay, this is the correct answer. Tita Wen will tell you. Sayang yung mga nasa labas. Come here na po. We will have our commitment. This will be the last. We will leave po 5.30, I promise you. Alright? Well, at the end of the day, it's not yet sunset. <laughs> Alright? Okay, this is the right answer to that. Based on the balloon activity that you had, having holding hands with an opposite sex, Nawawala ba ang virginity? Okay. The right answer for that is no. But, but, next picture, Daddy. Why your parents hinder you going on a date with an opposite sex? The two of you. Young people, young men, and young women, do not ever get involved na dalawa lang kayo with an opposite sex na lalabas. Kahit sinasabi nyo sa parents nyo na matapang kayo, malakas kayo, it will never talaga. Because our strength only relies in the Lord. Now, ang sagot doon ay no. Or why? Alright? Pero bakit natin pini-prevent na as long as hangulo sa holding hands ay hindi natin i-allow? Okay, remember the balloon? May nawawala kada labas? Meron, Right? Hindi man holy na wala, hindi man buo na wala at one time big time, but at the end of the day para kayong ganito. Pumupunta ka sa iyo sa isang situation na akala nyo tama at akala nyo malakas kayo, pero you are putting yourself on a cliff na one time na lang, isa na lang malalaglag ka na. So for you to be able to iwas that laglag, you can go back at sabihin mong hindi ko to gagawin. Kasi may mga times na akala mo tama hanggang hindi mo na mapigilan ng sarili mo kasi alam, akala mo walang nawawala. But in reality, you are making a one step to do that. So for you to be able, hindi mo totally gawin yon. anong gagawin mo? Wala kang gagawin anything from step one to prevent you to go to the step five of that situation. Naintindihan niyo ako, youth? Alright. Parents, I need your help on this. They cannot understand that fully, lalo na yung mga hayok na hayok na ngayon sa mga girlfriend at boyfriends nila. Okay, tahasan ko nang sasabihin na, kung teenager ka ngayon at may karelasyon ka, sasabihin ko na sa yung tahasan, hindi pa yan dapat. Bakit? This is for your, this is for your protection. Teenager years, walang ibang pinapagana yan, kundi emosyon. Okay, going back, if Tito Weng right now is a 15-year-old girl, Tito Owi is 16-year-old, ganito ang teenager, daddy come here. Si Tito Owi nakita ko nagbabasketball. Wow, oh yes. Si 15-year-old na Tito
nakita weng ganito ang mararamdaman ko. Ang guapo niya talaga. Siya na talaga yung gusto ko forever. Teenagers, right? Okay. Kunyari si Tita Weng, 25 year old na ngayon. Nakita ko ulit si Owi, nagbabasketball. Go daddy. Wow. Guapo. Pero 25 years old na ako. Ganito ang isip ng isang 25 year old. Ang guapo talaga niya eh. Gusto ko talaga siya. Pero baka walang relasyon sa Panginoon. So that's a 25 year old brain. Kumpara sa 15 year old brain, naiintindihan niyo ako? Kaya I do, I do not agree teenagers, no, entering into a relationship at that young age. Walang gumagana na prinsipyo sa brain nila kundi emosyon lahat. All right? This is a serious matter. All right? This is a very, very serious. If you will not follow this principle, that's the reason why and daming hindi dapat pa mangyari, pero nangyayari na. All right? So ito yung iniiwasan natin. Because your brain, there's a study, alam ko yung mga nag-aaral dito at lalo na sa medisina, anong age nagmamature ang brain ng tao? Ha? 25 years old. Praise the Lord, may pag-asa pa mga anak natin. 25. So that is the age, the right time to enter into a relationship, not teenager years. Do you listen, children? What is the right age to enter a relationship? 25. How old are you now? 25? Wow, naging 25 na silang lahat. Huh? Twenty-five na lang daw. <laughs> Ope, alam nyo, nakakatawa, no? But this is a very, very serious one. Dinefine ko lang sa inyo kung ano ang brain ng isang teenager na hindi nag-iisip, walang prinsipyong pinagagana, puro emosyon. At ang emosyon ng isang tao, dito tayo madidisgrasya. Kaya ganun na lang kayo protektahan ng inyong mga magulang at sana ma-appreciate nyo yung counsel na yan sa inyong mga magulang. Hindi dahil bad trip lang si mami sa inyo at gusto ko yung pagtripan. Dahil sobra ang pagmamahal sa inyo ng mga magulang ninyo na gusto niya kayong protektahan. Amen, parents? It's a protection for your happiness. Eternal happiness. Isang gabi lang yan mangyayari. After nun, puro luha ka na. Anong gusto ninyo? Eternal happiness o one time, big time, saya? Eternal happiness. And that's the design of God that wants us to experience. Alright. Before we go to our commitment, alright? I want to have an appeal to all the parents and to all the children right now. Alright? Daddy, can you have a soft music para at least? Alright. I have an appeal to parents before we end. Parents, be the teacher of your children, especially in this kind of topic. This is very crucial with them. Go on a date with them. Alright? Alamin nyo kung anong whereabouts nila. Are they struggling with an opposite sex attraction? It is very critical that parents are the ones to teach their children about God's design for marriage and sex. Kids are going to learn about sex often much earlier than parents are comfortable with. Uunahan kayo ni Satanas na mag-explain ng sexuality sa inyong mga anak. Kaya unahan nyo siya. The social media, the internet, the television. Who do we want them to learn from? The kids at school? Classmate? The internet? Children benefit when their parents are the primary source of information about marriage and sex. Now, you may tell me, Ma'am Weng, Ate Weng, hindi ako naturuan ng magulang ko niyan. Pinalaki ako na wala akong alam. Kung alam ko lang na may ganito palang training, sana naprotektohan ko rin ang sarili ko. Now, parents, I don't know your past. I don't know also what is happening in our youth today. You may have a relationship before. But you know what? You may claim, Ate Weng, ngayon ko lang nalaman eh. Sana dati pa at hindi ako nakakumit ng kasalanan sa Panginoon. You may be impure in the sight of the world. But you know what? The best Bible story that I can share is a woman at the well, the Samaritan woman. Did she live a pure life? Why? She had five husbands. And in the sight of Samaria, this woman is nothing. 
She has been rejected by the society. But you know what? This woman at the well, at the Jacob's well, became the first evangelist woman in the New Testament. Imagine the Lord, the Messiah. When you review the New Testament, this woman was the first appointed woman evangelist in the New Testament. But in the sight of Samaria, she is nobody. Why? It was very clear. She goes to the well, not early in the morning. Anong oras? During noontime. Bakit? Wala walang nakakakita sa kanya. Kasi alam ng tao, pinagchichismisan siya lima asawa niya. Tapos yung asawa niya ngayon, hindi niya tunay na asawa. So she lived an impure life. But this impure woman was appointed by the Messiah and was the first time that the Messiah revealed to a public person that He is the Messiah. So what a great privilege. Now, if you feel, you don't know my past, you don't know always past, you don't know anything here na mga past ng mga magulang ninyo and baka hindi rin nila kinukwento sa inyo. But you know what? God is so merciful, forgiving and gracious that if you commit an impure life in your past, God doesn't, ano na, hindi niya na, ano ba to, hindi na importante sa kanya yung past. As long you repent now, and you move forward and you decided, Lord, I want to have a pure life in you because having a pure life in you is the best happiness that I can have in this world. I tell you, youth, I tell you, young children, lahat ng gumawa nun in the past, hindi sila naging masaya. Merong bigat sa dibdib nila na kailangan nilang ihingi sa Panginoon. And when the hiningi sa Panginoon, that repent, katulad ng babaeng ito na nireveal ng Panginoon ang buhay niya. You don't live with your husband because you have a five husband. Sa mata ng babaeng ito, nagulat siya. Bakit kaya niyang basahin ang buhay ko? And that was the time the Messiah revealed to him. Anong sinabi niya sa, sa, ng, sa babae ito sa Panginoon? Lord, why me? I have been rejected by the society. Anong sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanya? The line, the line, no, nung narinig ko yung line na yun, I cried. Anong sinabi ng Panginoong Jesus sa kanya? You have been rejected by the society, but not the Messiah. You don't know my life. You don't know our always life. But you know, at the end of the day, wala, hindi na nagmamatter sa Panginoon yung past ninyo if you had an impure life. What is important right now, today, if you decided, Lord, forgive me because I had a wrong relationship before. I had impure life. I did not practice self-control because my parents did not teach me. But at the end of the day, I know there's healing in Jesus. And if I commit my life today and I commit to the Lord, help me to be pure until I get married. Parents, we need to produce a generation with a pure mind and pure soul. If we are living in this evil world that everybody is committing casual sex already, Ano ang mangyayari sa henerasyon natin ngayon na naghihintay sa second coming ng Panginoon? We need to secure our children on this. And if we commit to God our lives in educating our children, hindi ito impossible. So today, Ma'am Sanbim and Tito jo, Tita Joy will distribute to you, to you a wait-to-date contract. If you have your parents now with you, please sit beside them and then talk about that contract, the content of that contract. If you wish to submit your maturity when it comes to dating, please sign together with your parents. But if you do not see it, like right now, I can commit that to my parents. It's okay. Pray to the Lord, parents. Wag pipilitin kasi the government of God is not by force. It is by free will. So it's a challenge for you, all right? That the, the time will come when my child will commit to me. The maturity level, when is the right time to date? Because I want to protect my children. So one child, one contract. One child, one contract. One child, one contract. Youth, can you sit beside your mommy or daddy or guardian? Now? And I will be giving you five minutes to discuss that with your parents. Parents, if they sign or not, it's okay. Please end that with your prayer, with a prayer. All right, very clear? All right, I will be giving you five to ten minutes to finish everything.
Okay, those youth who don't have a parent, ngayon, it's okay. Go to an elder or a pastor so that if you want to sign it, sign together with them and then you can pray together. O kaya sa parents, una makonti ilang ang child, you can adopt someone. Parents and guardians, make sure you pray with your children and thank them if they sign it. If they didn't sign it, it's okay. Just thank them. And I know in the right time, no? When you talk together again and discuss these things, no? Basta wag lang pong pipilitin.
At this moment, we'd like to request our two district pastors, Pastor Gabrido and Pastor William Moore, to come and join us here on stage, and also Pastor Maglipas. As, but those who are still praying, continue, and those who are. All right, everyone's done? Who is not yet done? Ah, hindi pa tapos. Sino ang tatay at nanay niyo dyan? Ha? Huh? There's an elder there? Ah, okay, mommy, okay. Pastor, siguro tulungan na dun para mabilis. The pastors can help so that we can end na. Ma'am, lahat ba pumirma? Nag-commit lahat? So those who are finished would like to request everyone to form a circle. All right. This time we will have a dedicatory prayer by our two pastors. May, all, may I request everyone who are able to please stand and hold your hands together as we have this dedicatory prayer. Onyx, can you play a song Okay, let's form a circle. Those who are able, we will be prayed by our two pastors. Circle, circle, hold the hands. Circle, form, form. Okay, let's form a circle. Let's all rise and form a circle. Let's hold hands together. We're requesting everyone. Dito po tayo sa may harap, yung iba nasa gilid. Yan. So only one line, one circle, one circle lang po tayo. Join us here in front. Yeah, dapat hands. hindi ba, dapat buo yung circle. Yun lang po mga able. Pag hindi na kaya, it's okay. Just remain seated. Okay. All right, let's hold hands together. Lapit po, lapit, dito tayo lapit. Pastor, lapit po kayo. Yan, connect po tayo sa kabila. Yan, okay, let's connect. All right. All right. Okay. Before we have our dedicatory prayer, okay, last na, may I request, listen to Tita Wing, especially the youth. I just want to leave a last message before we close this. First of all, thank you so much for the Silang District, no? Silang District 4, 4 in the ton, no? 4 na magiging 5 and 6 na. All right, thank you so much for all the organizers po na nag-organize itong program na ito. In two weeks' time, we will be leaving. We will go to the U.S. as a family and we will be ministering also to different churches there. And this is our last appointment before we go there. And I truly praise the Lord that the Lord orchestrated this everything. Youth, 
teens, young men and women, I will tell you this. Do you know how blessed you are today? Do you know how blessed you are today? Bakit ko sinabing how blessed you are today? I do not believe in this world na lahat may aksidente. Alright? I believe hindi ito aksidente. Why? Because the Lord asked you and let you come here with your parents. Going back in my youth days, hindi ko narinig ang mensaheng ito. At I'm sure 100% your parents did not hear this growing up. Tama? Mali. But despite we are not being educated during our growing years that we don't know this, and we committed sin and we became impure in our past, but the Lord is forgiving. And you yourselves, being youth of this generation, you are so blessed that you heard this message. I hope and pray na lahat ng napakinggan ninyo this afternoon, parents mula this morning, we cannot tell you everything what has been the Lord downloaded to us as parents ni Owi. But I hope and pray that you will continue to grow in the Lord by reading the scriptures and reading the spirit of prophecy. Me, myself, I did not grow like this. It is only by God's wisdom that we can grow every day in the sight of the Lord. Parents, our children need us. Hindi lang sumla sumisigaw, pero naghihikahos sila na, pang, na parents, mommy and daddy, tulungan nyo kami sa battle na ito. Hindi namin mapigilan ang sarili namin because we are attracted to opposite sex. And you children, today you heard that if you are in a relationship right now, ask the Lord. Is it the right time that I will make this relationship? Because at the end of the day, in everything that you do, it should be for the glory of God, not for your own glory and your emotional feelings. I hope and pray that God will sustain the wisdom of your parents in this journey as we are waiting for your soon return. As we are waiting for His soon return. And now, I will ask the two pastors, our dear two pastors, to dedicate each and every family in this district that to help us to be guided by God for our children to remain pure in the sight of the Lord. Uh, Pastor, shaka muna and then. Tayo po ay samasamang magalang na uh, yumuko. Sa hapong ito, makapangyarihan at mahabagin naming Panginoon, isang prebilehiyo na patuloy kaming makikinig ni mga salita at napakatamis sa aming mga puso na papapakinggan ang mga katotohanan ito sa magitan ng spirito ng hula na mihayag ang inyong panukala sa bawat pamilya. Mga magulang na patuloy nakikipagbaka hindi lang sa hamon ng buhay, sa trabaho at sa relasyon kahit kanino pa man, kundi ganun din sa pagpalaki ng mga anak. Panginoon, kami bilang mga magulang ay dumadating ang, ang madalas na panahon na kami nangihina. O Panginoon Diyos, mahabag kayo sa bawat isa sa amin. Tulungan niyo po kami na sa magitan ng mga salita, kami ay dadalisayin. Sa magitan ng Espiritu ng Hula o Diyos, kami ay patatagin. At itayo ang tamang foundation sa aming mga puso at may bahagi din namin sa aming mga anak. Kung kaya't Panginoon, tulungan niyo po kami. Alalayan kami sa tuwi-tuwi na nabuksan niyo mga salita at patuloy kaming buklod-buklod din ng katotohanan at siyang aming magiging kalasag sa tuwi-tuwi na ng desisyon ng aming buhay. Narito din ang aming buong pamilya, mga magulang, mga anak, taong saan ay parati nakakasubok ng mabigat na karanasan sa isang tahanan. Tulungan kami makaroon ng espiritu ng pagpakumbaba, pagmamahal at lalong higit ng pananampalataya sa inyo. Na sa anumang pagsubok ng aming mga buhay o Panginoon, kami ay maghahawak-hawak sa magitan ng mga salita, kami ay magiging managumpay. At ang maliit na langit sa aming tahanan ang siyang aming maranasan dyan hanggang dyan sa langit na bayan ng inihanda sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Dahil sa oras na ito, ang bawat isa at bawat mga magulang ay inyong pinapalahanan ng tunay na pamamahala sa aming mga pamilya. Kung kaya't bilang mga magulang, 
sa mga oras na ito, tanggapin natin ang kapangyarihan mula sa langit. Ang kapangyarihan ng Ama, ang patnubay at ang pagpatawad ng anak at ang walang hanggang subaybay ng banal na Espiritu ay maranasan ng bawat isa at ng buong pamilya sa pangalan ni Jesus na aming takapagligtas at makapangyarihan sa lahat. Amen. 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 Amang banal na makapangyarihan sa lahat, kayo bilang aming Ama na punong-puno ng pag-ibig, punong-puno ng biyaya at punong-puno ng unawa. Inyo pong napagmasda ng inyong mga anak, lalo higit ang mga kabataang ito, na kung saan kanilang nadama ang inyong pagmamahal. Naranasan nila ang inyong biyaya sa kanilang buhay. Sa buong araw pong ito na kanilang napakinggan ang mga minsay mula sa inyo, ito ay isang pinakapundasyon ng kanilang buhay upang mamuhay sila na may kadilisayan sa inyong banal na harapan. Salamat o Diyos sa inyong mga salita na nagbigay, tibay at lakas ng kanila pong paniniwala sa inyo upang magkaroon sila ng matibay na relasyon sa inyo at gayon din po naman pundasyon ng inyong mga salita sa kanilang buhay sa pagtahak ng iba't ibang mga hamon ng kanila pong kinakaharap sa mundong ito. Ramdam niyo po at alam niyo po ang kanilang pinagdadaanan bilang mga kabataan. Marami sila mga struggle sa kanilang buhay kung paano po nila mapanagumpayan ang mga bagay pong ito. Hindi nila alam kung papano. Salamat sa inyong mga salita. Salamat sa inyong mga, mga magulang na itinalaga sa kanila. Salamat o Diyos sa inyo din mga tagapagsalita na inyo pong ginamit upang ang mga kabataang ito ay patuloy na mahubog sa inyong mga salita at kung sa gayon, sa kanilang buhay, makita at mahayag ang kadalisayan ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Hindi lamang sa mga bagulang, bagko sa kanilang personal na relasyon sa inyo, ay matatili silang maging matibay. Kaya sa oras pong ito, O Diyos, aking silang itinatalaga sa inyong banal na harapan, na lumakad sila sang ayon sa inyong banal na kagustuhan upang mahayag at makita na kakaiba ang mga kabataang ito sapagkat mayroon silang relasyon sa aming Panginoong Yesus. Kaya manatili, O Diyos, na hanggang sa inyong pagdating ang kadalisayan, ang kanilang pangawakan at lumakad na may kadalisayan, ito'y aming inihiling sa matamis na pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. Let's all sing side by side. Brothers and sisters 
sisters, I'll be there. Pray that we all will be there. Okay, before closing prayer, let me take this opportunity to read the citations of the certificates for our speakers, okay? May I request Ma'am Duran to be here and also, okay, and also Onyx to be here na din. Okay, Certificate of Appreciation presented to Oimer Ray T. Daquila in grateful recognition of his inspiring and motivating biblical counsel to revive the family altar in such a time as this and the Adventist youth topic, Finding Purity in an Impure World. For all family members and friends of the Cavita Mission of Seventh-day Adventists. With this appreciation is our fervent prayer for our Lord's abundant blessings to this family, to this family's witnessing ministry and evangelism. Given this 15th day of June 2024, on the occasion of Silang 4 District Family Fellowship, held at the Adventist University of the Philippines Elementary Gymnasium, Silang Cavite, Philippines. Signed, President Silang for District Churches Association, Dr. Bren Verake. Signed, Sister Arlene Duran, Coordinator Silang for District Family Ministries. And signed, Pastor Amel Villamore, District Pastor. Okay, for Sir Oymere Daquila. Another one, Certificate of Appreciation presented to Wendell D. Daquila for her precious Sabbath worship message. Mothers as first teachers, as well as her valuable Adventist youth topic, Finding Purity in an Impure World for All Family Members and Friends of the Cavite Mission of Seventh-day Adventist. It is our fervent prayer that our Lord continue to bless their family ministries all the days of their lives. Okay, given this 15th day of June 2024, on the occasion of Silang 4 District Fellowship held at the Adventist University of the Philippines Elementary Gymnasium, Silang, Cavite, Philippines. Okay, still signed by Dr. Ben Virake, Sister Arlene Duran, and Pastor Ramel Villamore. Okay, for the last one, Certificate of Appreciation presented to Onyx D. Daquila. For sharing her invaluable gift of ministry by giving the Sabbath School homily for all family members and friends of the Cavite Mission of Seventh-day Adventist. May our Lord continue to bless her ministry with her parents and even at a young age, she has touched many lives through her numerous God-given talents. Given this 15th day of June 2024, on the occasion of Silang 4 District Family Fellowship held at the Adventist University of the Philippines Elementary Gymnasium, Silang Cavite, Philippines. Still signed by our president of Silang 4 District Churches Association, Dr. Bren Viraki, um, Ma'am Arlene Duran, Coordinator Silang 4 District Family Ministries, and Pastor Ramel Villamore, our district pastor. Thank you so much, Ma'am Sanbim. Actually, kahit wala naman nito, it's our heart's desire talaga man na share. And before we close, no, sa ating closing prayer, kanina may nakausap akong youth at talagang na-bless talaga ako. Sabi ba naman, eh, Ma'am, Ma'am Weng, after 10 years, 15 years, at the right time, uh, we will remember you, ikakasal kami, and we will tell you that we remain pure in the sight of the Lord. Yay! Praise Amen. the Lord! And that's the greatest um, uh, word that I heard this morning. Let's pray for our youth. We don't know 10 years, 15 years from now, they will be fighting for that. But I hope and pray that the words that they heard this afternoon will be really their guide and principle as they go along in this journey. Okay. Mga kapatid, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo. Ito na yung last natin as a District 4. Maghihiwalay man tayo, pero punong-puno ang ating puso. Pero maraming salamat sa iyong pagdalo. Ma'am, Sir, Ani, maraming salamat sa inyo. At uh, nakita ko kaninang umaga, naku, mainit. Pero sige lang, mas mainit yung sermon, mas mainit yung seminar. Kaya ang ating youth, nagpaiwan. Usually, pag may district fellowship kami, 
yung mga youth na una nang lumayas. <laughs> Pero ngayon sa mga youth, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at maraming salamat sa inyong kooperasyon ngayong araw na ito as a District 4 at itong fellowship na ito, na buo na ito at magpapasalamat ako kay Ma'am Lenny Garino. Ma'am, saan ka na ma'am? Ma'am Lenny? Ma'am, dito ka ma'am? Oo. Ito yung mga nakailang meeting kami. Oo. Pinukpok namin sila at uh, gumana naman. Oo. Ang ating mga galang, saan si galang? Sir, si Ma'am Ruth? At saka si Sir Galang? Lalo na si Sir Galang ay wala tayong snacks. Dito ka, Sir. Ito ang ating uh, punong abala at ang ating treasurer. Yan. Ma'am, Ma'am Ruth, dito ka, Ma'am. Tapos, sino pa ito? Si Arlene Duran. Yan, nandito. At saka si Ralph. Maraming salamat sa inyong back and forth. At si... Ito ang si Sunbeam. Maglipas. Siya po ang nag-introduce sa amin. Meron po tayong speaker. Siya o sige. Papayag ba na At si Ma'am Joy. Joy Lynn Andaya. Sila po ang mga salarin. Oo. Oh. Ma'am, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Although we work only for a few months. a oh, One month lang talaga. But it, this was so successful. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. At uh, si, sino pa dito? Si Tito. Saan si Tito? Sir, saan ka na, sir? Dito ka, sir. Tayo ay magkahihiwalay na. Pagsapit ng sunset, hiwalay na tayo. <laughs> oh, may bukas pa pala. Ay, 8 o'clock ang ating family day. Announcement, family day. At libre ang pagkain, basta't magdala kayong lahat. Okay? At itong mag-asawa, saan naman mga sumuso? Ma'am, dito ko ma'am. Ito ay... Nag-decide na ang... All, we almost decide na itong fellowship na to ay... Wala na, kasi maghihiwalay na eh. Then they, they suggest na pwede ba, pwede ba na ipagpatuloy natin ang fellowship at uh, pwede ba natin i-extend kahit konti. Then pumayag ang body, sige, nagbutuhan kami, pumayag. Ay, hindi po. <laughs> so ito po ma'am ang mga salarin at maraming maraming salamat at it was good. And this is not a coincidence, but rather it was God's plan. Yeah. So nothing is coincidence, but it is God's plan. So kayong na natili at ito pa ang ating uh, youth leader. Dito ka si El. El Salvio. At ang ating district pastor, si Pastor Billiamor at saka si Ma'am Sharon. Saan na ba si Ma'am? Ah, nandun. Nandun sa anak. Nag-signing ko. Maraming maraming salamat sa ating family and women's ministry sa ating distrito at sa ating mga church members sa District 4. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Palakpakan po natin ang ating mga sarili at we praise God that this was so successful. Ma'am, Sir, Maraming salamat. At uh, this was the first time sabi ko kay ma'am kanina, ma'am, hindi ka na namin ibintahin. Nang dahil ang napakalaking kulang namin being as a parent, nakonsensya po kami lahat. <laughs> o, oh, di ba? So, we will close this a prayer. Ako ba magpa-pray? Yes. We, okay. Tayo po'y manalangin. Our loving Father in heaven, Father, we thank you so much for your love, for your presence, for your understanding, for your mercy.
that you bestowed upon us. We thank you, dear Father, for the Sabbath day. And we praise you, dear Father. We praise your name because you are our creator. Father, we thank you so much for that what we have learned today as a parent, as a father also, as a mother, we have so much to learn. Father, and this is the children that you've given to us as a gift, as a parents. Father, we ask with your help, we ask with your guidance through the ministry of your Holy Spirit. Father, we invite you in our daily lives that in every decision that we have to make, Father, guide us that for our children's sake, for your, for your kingdom's sake, Father, we know that you are already being with us. Guide us in our way of how to develop the right kind of child, the way you want it to be. As we're going to wait for your second coming. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you've given to us. When we ask all these things, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We can have a group pictures. Please, everybody. Meron po tayong uh, cameraman. We will take this an opportunity. Sir, maraming salamat sir. Kasama sa token niyo yung yan.
in prayer. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Silang District 4, find 